this moment, I can hear walking. This looks like I'm going to be hiding in this video. here called Belicerio and that's kind of like the area that I'm at and look what I found here it looks like a huge hidden tomb not even a tomb kind of like a a huge structure just lost in the forest here look how beautiful this is you just walk right over here get up here there's a ton of mosquitoes here too if you watch see it mosquitoes in here look at this I've made it to a graveyard here in Santiago and I think it's called the General Cemetery if I'm correct but it's like a very oh wow look at this it's like a very uh, highly vegetated kind of looks like an island I'm in the process of trying to find these underground catacombs that consist with these tombs and I heard rumors, I've seen some videos and I'm on a quest to trying to find those very areas that I could cross into. I hope they're not blocked off, but this whole place is just flooded with pigeons. Look at this. They're right up there. Some right over there. Some tombs are open and there's a lot of desecration as well. As you can see the graffiti here on the walls. Sometimes I have some really spooky writing. Look at this. There's another way to go inside, but I just wanted to see the inside of this real quick. It all looks rotten and decayed. All oh, this is open. Look at that. The whole statue of Maria is on the floor and look at that. Oh my God, can I get in here? Look at this. All this here is a huge old casket. In fact, I've never seen a casket this old before. Look at that. You can see the whole iron prongs coming in there. Oh my God, that is huge. You could see huge vines from the trees above that's growing on top of this building. And uh, it's not even a building, it's just a huge concrete tomb. This almost looks like I'm in a huge castle-like structure, but look at the vines coming down, growing into the tombs. This little box here could probably be a child or even ashes from something else, like somebody's ashes or something. I just came out of this room here and after looking through this area here, I found this. Look at this. Right on the inside, you can see bones and old flowers. I guess they put the human remains in these bags. And look at that, it's a rib cage, like a small rib cage. Isn't that insane? This place is amazing. I love finding these places. So here is another tomb that I just found. Look at this. Interesting enough, there doesn't seem to be any witchcraft stuff. Oh, there's bones. Right over here, you got what looks like a tib. Oh no, is that a tib? That's not even a tib. That's a, I think a tibia, if I'm right. I don't remember, I'm getting a little bit rusty. And you know, it looks like spiders, or a spider hat. That right there, that cloth, that's what goes into the casket to cover up the person or the person lays on that. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so I think I just found 
my entrance to the catacombs here. If you look at the ground here, you can see like these gates that go underground. Those are the catacombs. Look what I just found. Now I've made it into this little passage area here. I'm not supposed to be down here. There's a bunch of people making sure that nobody's recording, but this, I have to show you guys this. Look at this. This looks like blood. Some more candles here. These candles do look recent. Sorry, I had someone yell at me saying, Caballero, you can't record. And I'm like, I'm not recording. And luckily I had the GoPro and they thought it was a battery. I said it was a bateria, so I got lucky. Let's keep going down the tunnel. All right, here's another area here. Holy shit, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm kind of nervous of what I'm gonna run into. here see I'm not really sure what's back there but look at this I'm hearing noises in here back there. This whole gate here is completely locked. I just hope nobody comes in here looking. Looks like I'm gonna be hiding in this video. There we go. I'm in a much more deeper shaft area here. I'm still gonna keep checking because there's tunnels and all of these. I reached a dead end down here. Look at this. Someone lit up candles here. That's been burning for a little bit. I don't wanna touch anything, but I don't know why it's lit. This is for these people that passed away. Just wanna make sure there's nothing that could cause harm to me. You see there? All right. Look at this. There's like a lot of people writing on the tombs here. Look how dark it is in here. The light that you see is just the light reflecting from the outside. Kid down there too, but I don't see anything. Could I even get in here? Oh my god. 
Hold on, let me see. Now this thing is locked. Look at that. And this thing goes down way down there. shoes it seems to be a mirror back there this whole place is getting smaller as I go in here as you can see it's pitch black on all angles of me a mirror for some reason there's a mirror back there I'm not sure what that's about let's look over here los mesros monentos son los whatever this says if someone could translate it I'll pin it to the comments so that way you guys can know what it means somebody there. I could get in trouble for what I'm doing. Not in trouble, but just kicked out of here. Look. somebody over there. found holy crap and I do know Nazis came here fleeing the war so they came to South America to go hide what is
is this? I found something else over here, but let me see inside here real quick. Looks like another little altar. I do not want to touch that. There's a lot of stuff on written on the walls. Look at this. It's like another little shrine over here. It's an old statue of Virgin Mary. Look at this. A lot of pentagrams are over here. It looks like one. That's a cross. Santikama Kamandar. Oh my god, look at that. Looks like someone carved Jesus. An upside down pentagram. further in here. Uh, I'm gonna check in here. Seems to be another Virgin Mary statue. see somebody in here. Holy shit. I just saw someone's shadow. I can hear them walking too. It sounds like screaming. What the hell was that? something talk over here. Look at this. Someone took a whole bunch of yarn and wrapped this up. There's another yarn there to there. Looks like this collapsed further over here. It's just rocks. This is so freaking creepy. It's like I'm walking through the valley of the dead. And I shall fear no evil. Since I've been down here, I got a little bit dizzy. And it feels very heavy inside this area. I do not feel comfortable at all. It's almost hard to breathe. I don't know if I'm feeling claustrophobic or what, but... I've been on tighter places before, and this is nothing crazy. I mean, it's pretty crazy, but nothing new for me. So look what I found. I don't know who put that up there. This person died in 1898. First I thought that was blood, but it's candle wax. It's kind of dripping from the wall. Look at that, and then this says, Su madre, <laughs> which means your mom. I mean, unfortunate for that person, but it just sounds different. This looks like it's been blocked off. 
Look at this. This whole thing is messed up. To somebody's tune. I just switched into my night vision camera. I want to see if I'm able to hear anything, but I don't think I could hear anything. But it's weird because down in this area where I'm at, it definitely gets a lot colder than the rest of the area. Can anyone talk with me? Give me a sign that you're here. Alguien quiere hablar conmigo? Does anyone want to talk with me? Haga un ruido. Make a noise. Como tú asiste en el otro sitio. Like you did in the other area. So I've circled back to the area where I first came and I was hearing noises. I did talk to somebody from upstairs that works here and they were telling me that there is sounds of ghostly children that wander through the area and also people as well, but children are more present. Now, it's hard to make sure you're not getting confused with somebody else visiting the area, but where I'm at right now, it's quiet. I'm away from the people. This little area where I'm at is kind of, it's really secured away from people. Um, especially when I cross through the gates, you're pretty much going to where you're not supposed to go to. Um, but I did hear what sound like a ghostly child coming from within here, uh, which is freaking horrifying, but exciting at the same time. I do want to make my way into this area, but I don't know how to get in here. This whole thing is completely blocked off. Look at this. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it was very faint. With this camera, it's probably going to be hard to record it. I usually have another audio. Recording sounds better, but... As of right now... I don't. Look at that. Damn it, it's another gate. I'm literally seeing all the spiders flocking right into their little holes. Listen. You hear that? It is so faint. I don't even think you guys are picking up on it. There's a whole bunch of writing here on the wall as well. I don't know what it means, but if you guys do, just timestamp it and let me know. See that? Alright guys, so I'm going to make my way out of these catacombs here. And uh, I hope you guys like what you've seen. Guys, check out my vlog channel. I put a lot of work and a lot of different locations into that thing. And I've been doing some dangerous stuff where I just got pickpocketed from uh, some local prostitutes. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Go check it out. It's my last video up right now. I got to get out of here because it's about to be about... Ooh, it's about to be about... I don't know what that was about. It's about to be about five o'clock and uh, tonight is the day of the dead. So a lot of people are gonna be coming in here, sneaking through here at night, which makes it extremely dangerous. They're gonna be going to catacombs like that 
and exploring. I might come back here. Let me know what you guys think in the video. Should I come back, do a bit more of a thorough paranormal investigation? This was one hell of an explore. And until then, I will see you guys in the next adventure. Bye guys.